everyone, my name is Britt and welcome to Painting Like My Sims. My friend Charidette made this challenge and as soon as I saw it, I knew I had to do it. This is a great idea, very unique as well. Nobody has ever done this until now, her of course, and then I saw Lauren's side do it. So definitely check those videos out if you haven't yet, but I'm so excited to get into this. I hope you guys enjoy it. So this is a really old Sim that I made at the very start when I first got Sims 4. It doesn't look like me anymore, but I still wanted to use her. Fun fact, I have a drawing tablet, but I'm too lazy to hook it up. So we're drawing with a mouse today. Hopefully this goes well. I don't know if it will, but it should be interesting. She is also a very low level and let's see what she creates for us. Oh, that looks a little bit complicated. Is it? Oh, uh, it looks like a cup with fruit in it. Ooh. Okay, she didn't go easy on me. I honestly thought this would go a little bit better, but apparently I don't get that. Okay, so we've got our canvas here and my paintings on the other screen. I don't know how good this is gonna go. Let's start off with a nice pinky color and we're gonna turn down the opacity. Probably get a brush first. Let's see if I got some kind of cool like watercolor brush. I don't think I do. Oh, that's kind of, that's like closer. Ooh, okay, that might work. We're gonna do this one. I'm gonna make it like really big. Background. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Yes, I like that. That was easier than I expected. Look at me being all fancy with my brushes. Can I just actually tell you that I'm not this fancy in real life? So that was the easy part. Now let's do like a little swoop. Oh, mm -mm, nope, not good. Not good at all. So we've got a bottom layer, which is like the inner. That's okay. Not, not the best, but it's decent. And then on top of that, we've got, ooh, oh, so close. Ooh, it's good as it's gonna get. And then inside, we've got this like creamy, kind of whitish color. Here goes nothing. I'm gonna go back to a regular sized brush. Yes, oh, beautiful. I probably should have done this before I did this top swoop thing. It's fine, it's totally fine. So now this is kind of like a grayish. I don't know what the heck these little marks are, but it's like, whoop. Oh wait, that's not the right color. Why are you like brighter? Oh, what? What have I, what have I done? What am I doing? Oh, let's turn the opacity down. Swoosh. Why does this keep happening to me? Okay, well that's just gonna have to do, I don't know. There's like one behind this apple. I am very confused by why some of these are dark and some of these are not. Okay, apparently if you go downward, they're darker. So now there's like, there's gonna be an apple here. Whoosh. What? That one was a total, that, this brush is straight up changing colors. I don't like it. I'm not using it. Give me a real one. That's much better. And then there's a big brown blob. What are you? Ooh, so blobby. There's a reason I don't do digital drawings anymore. If I practice, I could maybe do it, but, mm, yep. Wee. And then just to show how good I am at this, we're gonna do the highlight. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, not perfect but I'm really worried about the rest of this. We've got a nice, a nice green here. Nice juicy green apple. It's like, ooh, ooh. And then we've got a bunch over here. So there's one in the front. Oh, my opacity is down. One little like just peeking in the back. One in the front here and one on top. So they've got some shadows going on and some darknesses. Here goes nothing. Ooh, oh, yep, so good. Shadows, ooh. My Sim is way better than me and she has no painting skills. I don't know how to feel about this. Oh, that doesn't look like the right color. What, how about that? That's better. Uh, is there like a blendable brush? Get rid of that, that's all bad. We don't like it, it's terrible. I don't know how to blend things. Oh, there we go. Oh, messed it up. Yep. <sighs> wow, these apples. I tell you what, this is like gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I don't think anybody has ever created as beautiful as this. Then there's like a there's like a color down here on this one. Can't do it. Uh, let's put a stem on it. Terry's gonna be so disappointed in me. Oh, it's going the wrong direction. Boop. And boop. Okay, now for the really hard part. I have no idea how this is going to go. I don't even know how to get this color. How do I get gold like that? It's like oranger. Don't laugh at me. That's what, just don't, okay? It's like here and then it goes up with a little base. Oh my gosh. 
And then the teapot. Oh no. And then the pointy thing. Oh, this is like the scale is so bad. Whoops, oops, oops. I'm just gonna chalk it up to I'm using a mouse. It's really hard, okay? I'm having a very difficult time using this mouse. <laughs> I thought I was gonna like do three really easy paintings, but oh my gosh, might have to just do two with the amount of time this is taking me. Our darknesses are here. See, I can spot like light and dark. That's one thing I'm okay at. Actually drawing and executing it. No, never claimed that. <laughs> Ah, oh no. This is like really dark in the middle, which will make even, I almost said make worse, which will make darker. Oh boy. <laughs> I think that looks just like it, don't you? Yep. I think we're looking pretty close. Let's grab a darker color. Go with our dark darks. I'm going to go back over what I just did to make sure that it, the darkness is emphasized. Okay. Now we need a lighter color. Oh, that's better. And then this whole spout is very, very light on top. Shoo. Boom. Nailed it. Ah! Shing! Shwing! Those highlights, though, is so good. And now I'm gonna pull out a tool that not all professionals know about because this is like ultimate blending here. Only, only the greats know about this blending tool. This is called the smudge. And let me tell ya, it sure blends the heck out of things like you are just, you've been doing this your whole life until you mess it up a little bit. Oh, oh, that blend is so good though. Honestly, my expectations were definitely met with the skill set that I am showing here today. I couldn't have expected this to go any better. I mean, look at this. It's basically an exact replication. We just need those two little blue shiny orbs in the middle and it's gonna be perfect. These are like little bubbles. A blue bubble here and a blue bubble here. That's close enough. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a masterpiece. Look at this. It's basically the same painting. I am so proud of this. Wow, very good. Go me. I'm gonna frame this. We'll put it right there so we can look at it forever. <laughs> And then she's gonna come back and we'll stick with medium. I don't think I need to do a large painting at this point in my life. I don't think that's a very smart idea. So let's see what else she can come up with. So she's thinking about trees. Okay, plants. That might be kind of good. What is this? Are you making me draw like a bird's nest or something? Let's see the finished part. What? Is, is that people? That looks like a cat. Is that a cat? <gasps> it's people. Oh no. Why would you do this to me? That's, uh, that's my drawing. I actually think I have more confidence about this one though. <laughs> Simpler colors, less shading. Okay. So basically I'm going to pick some colors colors and I'm gonna scribble in the background. That's how this is gonna go. Yeah. Yes, gorgeous, so good, we love the red. I don't have any idea what this color is in the background. It's like a teal kind of, and there's like weird yellow. Yep, looks about right. Got this weird explosion. See, this I can do. <laughs> this I can definitely do. Okay, I think on this screen it looks more blue like a navy, whereas on my other screen, it doesn't look quite as navy, so let me redo this. Yeah, that's probably better. So now we need an even darker version of this color to like go this way and then here. Let's turn down the opacity a bit for this actually. That's good. It looks more scribbly-ish. Oh yeah, scribble all that in there. Yeah, that's looking real nice. Really, really nice. Very proud of this. Whoosh, and then we whoosh all the way down the side here. Just just mess it up, love it. There's like some darker red between them. A little more saturated. This is like love, straight up love. And the street down here is all colorful. I mean, not really, not really colorful. It's like brown, poop brown. And I don't know what color this is, but we're just gonna put that there. Great, now we're almost ready for the people. Ha! <laughs> Let's do like a really little brush. I'm gonna grab a black and I'm gonna drop the opacity so that I can make his head. So I wonder if I should, mm, this is tough. Got his hat like there, oh Lord. <laughs> yep, that is the brim of a hat. Looking good, man. Then the ears will come on either side. Doing way better at this than the other one, which is kind of weird. I wouldn't have 
considered this even something that I would be better at because it's people. And then we've got some weird little bottoms and his legs are like little dumpy legs. Oh my good sir, you are beautiful. Oh yes, looking so good, so good. He loves his shades of black. I totally get that too. Yep, oh, I, oops. Oops, got a little crazy with it. I raised your hand, sir. I'm so sorry. That looks kind of close. It's not terrible. You need to put a shadow in. Boom. Shadowed. Done. Now we can grab a very light kind of pinky color. That. And give him some solid looking ears. Oh. And a face. I think I made his hat too big. Oh well. We will call you Mr. Big Head. He's like, no, stop, my love. I cannot. We are forbidden. And then finally, your eyeball. It's going the wrong direction. This brushes. I don't know if you can like turn brushes or not, but I don't know how if so. Oh, look how close that is. I think he's a little more like short and squat on mine, but hey, we're getting there. So now I need a green for her. And she's just basically a big weird triangle, like a, a cat face. She is ready for Halloween. This actually isn't too hard with the mouse. This is almost exactly what I would expect, no matter what type of drawing instrument I use. Also, I see she's got a blue arm. Lady, why are you lying to me? We're just gonna use the color that I've already used. And bloop, there's your arm. You're gonna be, oh, they're not quite holding hands. Oh, that's sad. And there's like a teeny little bloop of blue right there. Now, her cat face. <laughs> it's a cat head, right? Hey, that's pretty good. Her ears aren't quite as pointy, but can maybe, oh, no. Oh, I'm pushing buttons. Ah, oh, there we go. I got you, girl. And now we've got her white hair, like a beautiful angel. I also kind of want to know who came up with this design. Like who sat at The Sims and was like, I'm drawing this for one of the paintings that people are going to do in game. I bet whoever it was, they're like really appreciative that we're doing this, this painting challenge. If I were them, I would be loving it. People taking time to notice your beautiful drawings, no matter how poorly they they do at it. Ah! Oh, she looks concerned. Ah, close enough. And she's got a little tuft of hair up here. Oh, oh, kind of giving her bangs. Kind of a mullet though. I don't really know what this hairstyle is. Definitely not 2018. Oh gosh. Oh, I messed this up too. Oh well, too bad. Um, let's give her a hand and we will be done. Oh, you're gonna be holding hands this time too. Sorry. I don't know if you wanted to be holding hands, but love. I'm all for love, okay? Look at that. That is a good one. I am, I can't say proud of it, but it is definitely better than the other one. We will go that far. <laughs> well, I'm gonna call it there with my two drawings because I think if I do any more, it's just not gonna be a good time. I think it's gonna take me way too long because this did just take me way too long. I'm not good at it, okay? There's a reason I don't do digital art, but I encourage you guys to give this a try for yourself. It's a lot of fun. I, I had so much fun making this. I'm very bad at it, which is in part what makes it fun. I would love to see a real artist like go full out and just make it like amazing, interpret it their own way or make it perfect in the perfectly bad way that it is. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Turn on notifications and subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!